Uh, welcome back, I'm Brett, this is Matt. We're here to talk to you about the Surface Duo 2 again, and this time we're gonna be talking about the Your Phone app. Kind of not about the Surface Duo 2, it's about your computer actually. Uh, Windows 10, Windows 11 computer, uh, accessing your phone from your computer. So uh, Matt, do you use the Your Phone app? Yes, so I actually use it every day at my desk. Uh, with my desktop setup, I'll get messages on my phone or yep. maybe I've taken some photos on my phone over the weekend and I want to put them into an email to someone. Or, yep. Yeah, so I use it all the time. There's a couple of key functions that we're going to talk about on the Your Phone app. So yeah, Your Phone app connects and, and look, it can connect somewhat to an iPhone, but there's not much, unfortunately, that Apple will let you do from anything but another Apple device, of course. But uh, if you have an Android device, and you haven't checked out your phone yet, we did a separate, well, I think we've done a couple of videos on, on the Your Phone app. It's, it's a really awesome app. Yeah. Uh, and we loved using it on the, uh, the Galaxy Note because Samsung had done some specific things with Microsoft and work, worked on some tech there to make some unique features work, like being able to access the screen. So uh, being able to mirror your screen from your phone to your um, computer was a really handy thing there. And then even be able to run specific individual apps from your phone mm. on your computer screen is um, something that Samsung did and Microsoft now do with their own Surface Duo phone, so the Surface Duo 2. Um, but also, as you mentioned, photos, being able to access photos and also to be able to check in on notifications and messages and respond to all of those is really the key things that you can do on, um, with your Android device on, on a Windows um, PC or um, you know, Surface Pro in our case. Uh, you can also use your computer to make calls with your phone. So basically your computer becomes a Bluetooth headset for your phone. Mm. I don't use that. Um, I've tried it. No, I haven't used it either. I didn't love it. So <laughs> um, I tend to pick up the phone well, or um, use a headset or something when I'm doing that. Yeah. One of the things I do love is, is the ability to capture photos from my camera roll onto whatever application I'm using on my desktop. So this is a common behavior yeah. we see lots in the people we speak to. Yeah. They take photos on their phone and they email themselves those photos. Yep. So, you know, it's a really broken think about, workflow, right? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yep. So I can launch the Your Phone app. I can see my camera roll. I can just drag a photo into my email or into my Word document or wherever yep. it needs, into my OneDrive location, wherever it needs to go. And yeah, that email system is not being used for what it shouldn't be used for, which is yeah. the transferring of files. I'm just yeah, looking so, at my Your Phone app here, right? And so. It's uh, the Your Phone app's been really rapidly developed and it's really improved a lot over the last couple of years. But one of the things that they added, yeah. I think maybe last year, but they added, I think it's up to a thousand, maybe it's more, but a thousand photos that you can access almost in real time from your camera roll. So almost the second that you've taken the photo, it appears over here and it takes sort of seconds to download and see it in its full resolution, right? Um, yeah. So that Very workflow cool. of being able to access something straight off your phone is, is, it's game changing. Um, so for me, you know, I'll often just what I've been doing this week is, you know, clearing out some stuff. I take a photo of it with my phone. I jump on my PC here and I'm listing it on Facebook Marketplace. So I just drag the photo straight off the camera roll from the Your Phone app straight into the website. And there it is. It's done. So there's no downloading, emailing, finding the file, mucking around. It's just such a great little workflow, right? Um, yeah. Yeah. You, you, uh, and you could do that obviously from your phone, right? You could have Facebook open and launch, try and put the photos in there, but you see it in a big screen. Yep, yeah, just just much better. Yeah, 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 yeah. absolutely. Um, the other thing messages. is messages. Messages, yeah. Um, yeah. Messages is the other one I use a lot from your phone because you're getting text messages throughout the day and you can see those uh, and respond yeah. to them. Yeah. One thing I don't like is I, that I would love to do is I, I delete messages from yes. my. Now we I heard this. You, it sounds like you don't. You don't, don't delete messages Never from your phone, but messages. I do. Yeah. But I can't delete messages from the Your Phone app. I yeah. can delete photos, which is cool, because you see in your camera roll thousands of photos that didn't work or were blurry yeah. or that aren't, aren't, are no longer relevant. So deleting those is really useful. Yeah. But um, yeah, I can't delete text messages at this stage, but responding to them is still very useful. Yeah, and by, I love by being by able to respond by the keyboard, right? Because I, I never, oh, yeah. I remember back in, back in our Damn early days, right? It was the, uh, the T9. You remember the T9 on Nokia or whatever? It was the, you know, you press this button three yeah. times to get that letter. Get and, oh, I never learned how to do that probably back in the day. So I wasn't really an early adopter of the SMS. Um, and I think even later on, I still find, you know, typing on those tiny little phone keyboards a bit awkward. I'm not a huge fan of it. I would much rather have a physical uh, keyboard at the desk and to be able to quickly knock out a message. Um, so great to be able to do that with the Your Phone app. And, 
again, like from even where we started a couple of years ago when this app came out to now, the performance has improved significantly yeah. over those couple of years. And it is a very usable application to do those sorts of things now. It's, it's really interesting from a thinking perspective and an investment perspective, right? How much time and effort has gone into trying to make the, the physical keyboard yeah. fit other form factors and modes, right? Which Instead is what of, it's, so the physic, that QWERTY keyboard layout that we use is 300 years old. Yeah. And it was designed around an engineering problem of 300 years ago, and we still have to use it because we just can't change it, right? So let's think about this. We've got the, you know, the thumb-based BlackBerry style keyboard. We've got the swipe keyboards. We've got all these other types of keyboards, predictive text. Yeah. You know, when was the last time you said, damn, autocorrect, right? So, <laughs> yeah, or, or use that as the excuse for the mistyped word you put into your text message. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, the ability to write those messages out, I, I think we'd be better off investing in that, which is far more natural. But, uh, you know, we, we do have those options there. But yep. I agree with you, typing on a, a text-based medium at a full-size keyboard is better than trying to do it with a single finger picking characters out of a tiny keyboard. Right? It just yeah. doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah, it just doesn't work well for me. So yeah, I love, love having that capability. And of course, the, your phone actually works pretty well with the Windows handwriting recognition yeah. software. So it is actually possible to handwrite out an, uh, a message, an SMS or a, a message um, or RTS these days on, uh, on, on Android. So uh, yeah, it's pretty easy to actually handwrite a message there, which is great. But um, the other thing is being able to, so as you get, you can get notifications and check your notifications through those apps. So uh, Matt, we talked about some of the social media apps, you know, maybe Viber or WhatsApp or something like that. Yeah. Um, don't really want to have those apps on my PC. I don't want to be distracted by them. Uh, Viber really frustrates me there because they've down, gone down the path of Teams and come up with their own notification system that ignores the Windows notification system. I don't want that stuff on my computer. Um, but yep. when the message pops up on, uh, on the Your Phone app, I could actually respond and type yes. a message back through those apps, through the Your Phone app. So that's pretty nice. So, yeah, yeah, being able to use any of your phone-based apps on your PC directly connected is, is pretty cool. So that's where we're going next, right? Because so, yes, messages, photographs, that's great. Um, we're, we're sharing that. But um, so with the Your Phone app, and again, with the Surface Duo 2, just like the Samsung, a lot of the flagship Samsung phones, you can actually uh, share your screen. We can, you can open your phone screen remotely. Um, all you have to do is be on the same Wi-Fi network and you can actually just access your phone screen um, using the Your Phone app, which is really cool because mm. I can leave the phone somewhere else. I can leave it in my bag. I can leave it you know, somewhere else out of sight, uh, you know, out of distraction zone altogether. Yep. And then when I want to purposefully, I can go to the Your Phone app while I'm sitting in front of my computer and pull that up and I could actually open the phone and, and look at it and interact with it right there, which is kind of handy. And I use it for some weird things like um, I've shown it before, I think in, in some of our videos, the auto queue function. So I'll have yep. our auto queue app and I have it remotely over here in my Surface Studio so that I can scroll up and down through the auto queue and start and stop the auto queue remotely. Um, there's all sorts of weird and wonderful applications that you can come up with um, for that. But the other interesting part of that is that the Your Phone app doesn't just allow you to mirror your phone screen to your PC, it actually now, and this is a recent update on the Duo 2, Samsung's been doing this for a while, but it actually allows you to run apps from your phone directly on your PC as though they're on your PC. Um, so in that situation, you could have four, five, six, 10 different apps all running, running from your phone across your PC uh, side by side. So true multitasking, uh, of apps in a way that you could never possibly do with that tiny little phone screen, right? You can actually yeah. spin up multiple instances. Now, I don't see that there's tons of practical um, examples for that, but people might have some. So, you know, if you've got an idea, tell us in the comments below, tell us what you use the Your Phone app for. But, I think it's uh, a lot of specific apps built there for, you know, workflows or particularly field service applications, right? That you would love to be able to see on your PC while yeah. you're building your, while you're in your ERP system or some other system. So there is yeah. some scenarios where that, being able to spin up that, Yep. On a bigger screen, app, on a side bigger by screen side with really some work. other piece of data. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so that's a, a recent addition, but it is now possible to do the same thing there on the Your Phone app um, with the Surface Duo 2 to be able to run any app that you have on your phone directly on your PC screen. All you've got to do is be on the same Wi Fi network, which is usually the case with your PC. So, that's a pretty nice feature there, and that, that mirroring, it works really well. Um, there's a couple of other little things that you can do in there. You can, um, you know, for example, put your phone into do not disturb mode remotely through this app. You can turn Bluetooth on and off and, uh, you know, 
mute your phone and do a few things like that just to control your phone remotely. So super handy app. And as you'd expect, uh, well, you know, initially when the Surface Duo 2 came out, we didn't see all of these features. Like um, we couldn't share our screen or sh uh, run individual apps, which we could do on the Samsung phones. Yeah. Um, you can see that Microsoft is squirreling away in the background working on getting that up to speed, which is great. And it has caught up, um, which is nice with the Your Phone app. So. Because really, if you have a Duo 2 and you're not using the Your Phone app on your PC, well, then you're missing out yeah. on some of the potential productivity benefits that yeah. you would have on this. One of the critical apps, I think, on this device. Yeah, I do uh, too. And it's not on this device, right? So, you know, it's about pulling that, yeah, you know, that's the point. PC and the phone even closer together. together, which is great. It'd be great. Hey, wouldn't it be great if Apple played that game too? But, of course, they're never going to do that. We we know what they're, they're trying to do, get you to buy a Mac instead. But... Um, yeah, so that's the your phone and app. an iPad and the next iPad oh, and the next Mac. Yeah, yeah, and the next iPhone and the watch and it, yeah. <laughs> um, but um, so yeah, if you're interested in more Surface Duo two content, make sure that you subscribe, hit the like button, and uh, ring that notification bell so that you can uh, join us in our next discussion. We're going to talk about doing presentations in PowerPoint uh, from the Surface Duo two. So uh, we'll do a bit of homework on that one and um, and come back to you with some suggestions and tips around that.